What attracted us to DJI originally was how they were really establishing an entirely new category, not in just drones or UAVs, but in robotics in general. We've not only been impressed by the team from an entrepreneurship perspective, but also the way in which they're starting to build a consumer brand. And this is really an opportunity to build a platform company, not unlike Facebook or Google or Amazon. And part of that is because this idea of a flying vehicle that enables you to have a sensor in the sky and capture all kinds of intelligence and data, um, video in places and, and times that weren't accessible before, it's a very powerful concept. And we think that today, while there are products like Phantom and Inspire, tomorrow we can only envision, and maybe not even today imagine, the kinds of applications and services that can be built on this platform. I think what really excited us about DJI is just the diversity of use cases that they find themselves pulled into today. So the Phantom is this consumer device which has completely captured the imagination, but at the same time they're being pulled into agriculture, the fire departments use them, industrial inspection, mining, the, the use cases are really endless. I received a call from the chief of the department. He told me that there was a large blaze at the stone quarry in Brantford. He explained that the blaze was in close proximity to explosives and that there was no way for a human being to safely check and see how close the flames were to the containers, the magazines of explosives. Well, using his experience and expertise, the chief was able to see on my screen that the fire was still, I believe, about 30 to 40 feet away from the magazines of explosives so that it was then safe to send in the human being firefighters to put the blaze out. This is a very difficult sport because if you stand on the track, you can only see the sled for half a second and then it's gone uh, with the drones. It gives an amazing shot of the track. In the past, we've had to do these shots with helicopters. And you know, this is a much, much more user-friendly way of, of getting that video out there. My name is Dick Wolf. I'm the creator and executive producer of the Law & Order shows and now uh, Chicago Fire and Chicago PD. 12 years ago, we made a show for two seasons called Dragnet. We had one of the first true handheld drones, which was a $300,000 helicopter what is capable now with uh, just an Inspire 1 is so far in excess of what that helicopter could do. It's an entirely different world. We want to make it easier for people to be innovative with the technology we design. That's why we created Skyfund. So the Sky Fund is our opportunity to go out and fund entrepreneurs who are building applications on top of the infrastructure that DJI has put into place. Using industry-leading visionaries on our advisory board, Sky Fund will choose hardware and software teams whose projects open the skies to innovation and push forward the potential for what aerial technology can be. Developers not only have access to the documentation and the SDK, they have access to the, the folks behind the SDK. So much of what we're doing here at the Sky Fund is not just providing the capital, but we're providing the technical know-how and the resources to help any entrepreneur really take advantage of what the SDK can provide. We think there's a huge opportunity to unlock the application layer innovation in drones and UAVs, um, but it's going to take a little bit of capital to, to get folks started, and that's what we, along with DJI, really want to help to provide.